day. Perfect. Wait till Drew sees this. This is gonna be so spooky, I'm gonna scare her good. Bartleby. Ah! <laughs> gotcha! If you were a plumpkin, you'd owe me a treat. <laughs> you really jumped. That doesn't mean anything. I'm a cat! But my mask isn't half bad either. Booga, booga, booga! Hmm. Are you going for scary or just silly? Very funny, True. But we'll see who gets more tasty treats from the pumpkins this year. <laughs> Come on, True. Let's go scare some pumpkins. Ah! <laughs> it's just Griselda and Fruki. And we're not wearing Plumpkin Day masks. So why were you so scared? I wasn't scared. I just wasn't expecting you to be standing right there. <laughs> oh, not nice. Nice to see you too, Fruki. Lovely. Hey, why were you standing right there anyway? You're not scared to go to Plumpkin Marsh by yourself, are you? What? Me? Afraid? Uh, never. I came by because I thought you might be a little nervous. And clearly, I was right. But we should probably go before it gets too dark. For Bartleby's sake, of course. Seriously? And before the tasty treats are all gone. Good point. We just have to wait for Z. I invited him to come with us, too. Oh, good. I haven't scared anybody yet. Maybe I can surprise Z. Yeah! Ah! <clears throat> True, I finally scared somebody. You should have seen Z jump. I did jump, but I think technically Bartleby jumped higher. That doesn't mean anything. I'm a cat. Then you're all warmed up. To the Plumpkin Marsh! And the Tasty Treats! Um, True, I don't see any tasty treats. Maybe we should come back tomorrow. You know, when it's a little brighter out. The pumpkins have been growing treats inside them all year. We don't want to miss out on the one day they give them away. I just thought, you know, it'd be easier to find them. <laughs> Check it out! Look! They're all lighting up! That means the Tasty Treats are ready! Yes! It's Tasty Treat Harvest Time! Me first! Treat, please. Uh -uh. Huh? Griselda, you have to do something for the plumpkin first, remember? Then it rewards you with a treat. Do something? You could scare the plumpkin, make it laugh, or do some kind of trick. A trick? Oh, okay, I know exactly what to do. Sit up and beg the plumpkin for a treat, Fruki. You can do it. Sit up, beg. Come on, like this. <laughs> Come on, Fruki. <laughs> job, Griselda. What? No, I wasn't begging, but I did get the first treat. Thank you, Plumpkin. <laughs> Your turn, Z. It seems like a fairly straightforward process. <clears throat> I will now entertain you with a little dance I think you will enjoy. <laughs> yes? No? I've got more moves. Boo! Yes! <laughs> yes! Amateurs, let me show you how to do it. Watch and learn. Ooga booga booga! A tap it up, a tap 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 up, You go pumpkin treating. Look at all those tasty treats. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. Remember, we have to separate the tasty treats from the green, tricky treats? You know, 
Never eat a tricky treat. What happens next is not so sweet. I thought that was just a rhyme. No, it's true. If you eat a tricky treat, something strange will happen to you. Good treat. Weird tricky treat. Good treat. What could be wrong with these treats? What if these tricky treats are actually better than the tasty treats? I mean, I mean it's possible. I wouldn't try it, B. You're just not supposed to eat them. Everybody knows that. Oh, well, I mean, there are plenty of the tasty kind. Good, good, tricky, tricky, <laughs> good, 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 tricky, 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 good, good. All done. But what are we supposed to do with the tricky treats? We'll take them back to the marsh tomorrow and spread them around the vines. The tricky treats help the plumpkins grow. Oh, so they're good for pumpkins and not so good for people. E or cats. Hmm, I wonder if the pumpkins just want the best ones back. They still look very tempting, though. I'd better put them outside where I won't eat them. Here you go, Tricky Treats. See you tomorrow. What you doing out there, Bee? Oh, nothing. I'm, I'm just um, leaving the Tricky Treats outside so I won't be tempted to eat them. Good thinking, but don't leave them or a critter might find them and eat them. They might not know the rhyme. Oh, good call. We definitely don't want any critters eating them all. Until I decide if I want to try one first. Now what are you doing? I'm gonna hide my good treats so I won't be tempted to eat them either. At least not all at once. <laughs> oh, Bee. There. Now you'll be out of sight and I won't think about eating you. At least not until I get hungry in the middle of the night. And then you'll be very handy. Hey! Hi! Yeti, no! You're not supposed to eat the tricky treats! Everybody knows that! Treat? No, no. Eat? No. Ah. Oh, don't you put... No! Yummy! I knew it. Knew they were good. That was strange. And he's got my tricky treats. Bartleby, did you hear a howling noise while you were upstairs? Howling noise? What kind of howling noise? A howling noise, like ow. You mean like ow? No, it was more like ow. like that. Bartleby, what happened to your tricky treats? I yet he took them. I put them by my window, but he was waiting for them. Pa promise. Oh no, did he eat one? Did anything strange happen? Well, he ate one, and then he went like this. <laughs> like that. That's not so bad. And then he turned green, and his eyes glowed, and his ears went. And then he howled, and he jumped off the roof. Did I mention that he turned green? Okay, now that's bad. Oh, yeah, that's him. <laughs> and now he's running towards Rainbow City with the rest of the Tricky Treats! Then that's where we're going! Come on, Bee! The Yeti shouldn't be too hard to find. I mean, he's big and green. And seems to enjoy a good howl. There he is! <laughs> no, that's not him! Look, there's more! All this from one tricky treat? Hey, there's someone who's not green. Maybe he can help. <laughs> well, hello there, little blue tasty treat. Just how tasty are you? Huh? Hmm. Tastier than I thought. Wait, that was a tricky treat! <laughs> <laughs> He's tricking them into eating tricky treats. And then they turn green and start howling. True. Bartleby, have you seen all these howling greenies running around? Huh? Oh, oh howling, howling greenies. greenies. 
What's going on? This is what happened the last time someone ate a tricky treat. That's why I made up the rhyme a million years ago. Never eat a tricky treat. What happens next is not so sweet. I thought everyone knew that by now. Yeah, of course. Uh, everyone knows you should never eat a tricky treat. I mean, my goodness. The Howling Greenies must be tricking the others into eating the tricky treats, making more Howling Greenies. Yikes! I'm afraid that's exactly how it spreads. How can we help? We just need each Howling Greenie to eat a good treat. Then they'll become regular folks again. Seems simple enough. There's just one problem. If you're still a Howling Greenie when the moon is full, you stay one forever. B, we need to fix this. Quick, time for wish help. Cumulo! To the wishing tree. Good luck! Good treat, good treat. Oh, tricky treat. Z! Ah! Oh. oh, hi guys. Did you enjoy some of your good treats? Big problem. We accidentally let a Yeti eat a tricky treat. Yes, we. Oh no, did he do a herky-jerky dance and turn green and start howling? How did you know? Never eat a tricky treat. What happens next is not so sweet, whatever. Everybody knows that, okay, okay, I get it. Now there are all sorts of citizens who've been turned into howling greenies. Running around making more and more howling greenies. You can imagine the racket with all that ow -ing. The Rainbow King says we have to round them all up. Before the moon is full. Which is going to happen soon, and we have so many Howling Green citizens to get to, and there's probably more and more and more and more. Okay, let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True. How can the wishing tree help you? We need to herd together all the greenies without us being turned into greenies too, before the full moon, and then somehow get them all to eat a tasty treat. Phew, that's gonna be tricky. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Tiny wishes, words of the tree. Wishing tree, please share with me. Lingo! Magic power for you and share me. Share <laughs> These wishes are awesome! I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers! This is Bublo. Hi, Bublo. Bublo is like a bubble wand you can step through. Then you're protected by your own bubble. Whoa, that should help protect us from the Howling Greenies. Your next wish is Flingo. Great to see you, Flingo. <laughs> Flingo is a launching wish. It can send things flying. Great, that's sure to come in handy, somehow. <laughs> For your last wish, you have Sharezy, the sharing wish. Hi. Oh, oh, let me guess, I got this. It can help you share things with others? Naturally. Hmm, I'm not sure what I can do with this one, but I'm sure it will help. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> My pleasure. Uh, good luck. And remember, never eat a tricky treat. I know! There's one. <laughs> Hi. Oh, nice pumpkin day costume. <laughs> oh, aren't you nice? <laughs> <laughs> That's still totally weird.
disappeared. Oh, there's another one! Uh, candy for me? <laughs> oh, I'd love some. <laughs> Zelda! Stay back, you goofy <laughs> green weirdos! You don't scare me very much. Griselda, don't let them trick you! Don't eat a tricky treat! <laughs> no, Fergie, don't beg! Don't beg! <laughs> oh, no. oh no! They tricked Fruki! Well, I guess that's not too hard. True! Uh, help! I want my Fruki back! Ah! Look! <laughs> uh, uh... <gasps> I think we're gonna need some help. Time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Pablo! Wish come true! Pablo, protect us from the howling greenies. Yeah, bloop. Is everybody ready? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I hope these work. <laughs> 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 These days. <laughs> Bublo did a great job. We're all safe. Those howling greenies could never get me to eat a tricky treat. <sighs> but I'll stay in the bubble a little bit longer, if you don't mind. Alone. Aw, she misses Ruki. But he's a howling greenie. How do we change him back? Maybe we can use those treats to trick Fruki again. Hey, Fruki! <laughs> Here, Fruki! everybody back to normal. But the moon, it's almost full. <laughs> and almost everyone in Rainbow City is a howling greenie. We're going to need a lot of tasty treats. Luckily, I didn't eat any of mine. You can have all of mine too. And I'm sure Z will give us his. Fantastic, that should do it. Well, I guess there's no need to use mine, right? No need. What? You have plenty. Fine. You can have mine, too. But I protest. These should be enough to fix everybody. But the Howling Greenies have spread out all over the city. And how can we get the Howling Greenies to even eat them? I bet it'll be very tricky to trick a trickster. Let's think this through. Oh, remember how Fruki jumped up and caught a treat that was tossed to him? Maybe the others will, too. And Flingo can watch the tasty treats really far, so we can reach them all in time. Great idea! The greenies are kind of dog-like. Time for my second wish. Zip-zap-zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Flingo! Wish come true! Heads up, howling greenies! Okay, Flingo, do your thing. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> what a tasty treat! Hooray! Well, it worked. Now we just have to get everybody a treat before the moon is full. Well, 
the moon's full. Anyone else feel like howling? <laughs> Just, I did a little bit of joke there. <clears throat> Anyways. Great news! Thanks to you, all the greenies were successfully turned back into their regular selves. The citizens and the city are safe. But I hope everyone's not too disappointed that they'll have to wait until next year to get their treats. Uh oh But there must be some treats left somewhere. Sorry, Bee. There's only this one wee little treat left. You mean I have to wait a whole year until next Plumpkin Day? No! Wait! I still have my third wish! The sharing wish! We're supposed to share one measly tasty treat between everyone? Let's see what Sharezy can do. It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Sharezy! Wish come true! Huh? Sharezy, I need you to make it so this one tree can be shared with everybody in the Rainbow Kingdom. Oh. <laughs> First, we should have to sort out the tricky treats. You never eat a tricky treat. Everybody knows that. <laughs> oh, Bartleby. The Nine Eye Tree. <sighs> Looks like we're officially ready for Camp Out Yeti style. Almost officially ready. Nope, too hard. <laughs> too soft. Too leafy. Ah, oh, that's just right. <laughs> Maybe too good a job. Hmm, I think this cat nap needs a Yeti wake up call. Oh, Erg! Hi! Hi! <laughs> learn all about the Yeti traditions? Yeah! Oh, is that a Yeti tradition? It is. Having fun is a Yeti specialty. So is recycling. Your sleeping bags are made entirely out of fallen leaves. Oh! And when you wake up in the morning, you've got a nice, healthy breakfast. Yeah! Uh -oh. <laughs> Great! Well, that Yeti tradition looks like a lot of fun. I want to try that. Sure. Everybody grab a Yeti buddy and have fun! This is so much fun! <laughs> Thanks for the delivery, Erg! Yeti dinner is served! Oh, everything looks good! Enough to eat. That was delicious. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, what should I do with my plate? Is there garbage? <laughs> Yetis don't believe in garbage. They reuse everything, uh -huh. <laughs> including the plates, which are edible. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, mm, mm. oh, you know, this tastes pretty good for a plate. Huh? I was right. Mm. Everything is good enough to eat. Now that we've seen some Yeti traditions, do you think they'd like to learn some of ours? Definitely. What were you thinking? Well, when we camp out, we like to gather around, do some dancing, and roast Nummelberry marshmallows. Oh, yeah, I love that. And the best part is, we do it at night. You know what? Oh, the Yeti's only like daylight. They never go out after dark. Ah! Never. Ah! 
ever. Oh, message received. Guess we'll only have to collect half the Numbleberries now. Would you like some help getting ready for nighttime? Oh! Come on, B. Um, mm, got any dessert plates? Mm, now that's hospitality. Mm. <laughs> oh, B. Can I ask you why you don't go out at nighttime? <laughs> You're scared of the dark? Hey, me too. That's why I always carry a security blanket and a security snack. And a security best friend. <laughs> always. So, what do you do to feel safe when it gets dark? Whoa! Is this a nine-eye fruit? I've never seen one before. So pretty. Oh, the Yetis have been using the nine eyes for thousands of years. It helps them feel safe at night. Nine eye. Oh. It's too bad the Yetis can't join us at our camp out. Yeah, well, I heard they don't like being outside when it's dark. Well, maybe they need some lights, like those ones up there. <laughs> hey, that gives me an idea. Yeah. Look how bright we made it. Now the Yetis can join us for camp out. Yay! I'll call them. Oh, Yetis! Yetis! We found some nice lights for you. Oh! Oh, can you hear how excited they are? Nailed it! Oh, and here they come now to thank us. That's probably it. I'll be right back. Is everyone okay? We heard howls. Unhappy howls. Don't worry, True. I'll turn off those bright nine-eye lights. No! The Yetis are scared of the dark and they need those nine-eyes to feel safe. Oh, I feel terrible. It's not your fault. You didn't know, but those Yetis won't be able to go night-night without their nine-eyes. Let's just turn those nine eyes back on. There must be a switch or something. We can't turn them back on? We have to get new ones from the nine eye tree? What about these little lights? Couldn't they work instead? Those lights are nice, but they're too small. And not nearly bright enough. No, the only thing we can do is get more nine eyes. A great plan. Um, we'll wait till morning and leave when it's sunny, right? I don't think the Yetis can last that long in the dark, Bee. Where's the nine eye tree? <laughs> deep in the never ending forest. Uh, how deep? So, really deep. Can you show us the way? Hmm? Don't be scared. Don't worry. We'll be fine. We'll stick together. And I'll go get some wish help. <laughs> oh, Cumulo! We'll be back before you know it. Till then, stay together. Yeah, there's safety in numbers. Unless you're a fishy poof cracker. To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo. Thanks, Cumulo. Back in a minute. Z, the camp of night is ruined. True, Bartleby, is everything all right? I heard howls. No, everything is not all right. Those are Yeti howls. Why are the Yetis howling? Because they're scared of the dark. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's right. And the citizens accidentally put out their nine-eye lights, and now everyone is upset. 
<gasps> they put out their nine eye lights? But the Yetis have been using those for thousands of years. We know. First things first, let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, we need to find the Nine-Eye tree so we can bring back more Nine-Eyes to the Yeti village. But Snick's too scared of the dark to show us the way. So we need a way to light our path through the forest and keep Snick and Bartleby calm. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Wishes are incredible. I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. First up, we have Woglow. Hi again, Woglow. I could never forget your bright personality. <laughs> As you know, Woglow is a light wish. It can illuminate any space, no matter how dark it is. Even say, I don't know, the never-ending forest at night dark? Don't worry, Bee. Woglow can brighten any path. Next, we have Bumbershoot. Bumbershoot has fantastic parachute powers. Bumbershoot can float you down to the ground safely from any height. That'll come in handy if we get stuck somewhere really high. Uh-huh, ah, <laughs> Bumbershoot. Are we planning on getting stuck somewhere really high? And finally, we have Gravidity. Gravidity is super sticky and stretchy. It can help you grab things from far away. That's amazing! I'm not sure how we'll use your power, Gravidity, but if you like adventure, stick with us. Gravidity! Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. Let's go find the Nine Eye Tree. Oh no, we don't have any wishes to help the Yetis. Oh, I have an idea. Be right back. Okay, we'll meet you on Cumulo. Bring snacks! No. Okay. <sighs> Ooh, is that the snack bag? No snacks. Just ingredients for a glow potion to help the Yetis stay calm until you get back. Great idea! Let's go! My friend Z, he's here to help. Hi! Um, hello. True, I didn't realize there'd be such a big crowd. I'm used to potioning in front of small groups. You'll do great, Z. Pro tip, maybe don't go overboard with the science talk. But not all my talk is science talk. Well, good luck with that. Snick, are you ready to show us the way to the Nine-Eye Tree? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm here to bring you Radiant Energy! Uh, I mean, I'm here to bring you Illumination! Uh -huh. I'm here to bring you light. <laughs> Observe. <laughs> Stick, if you're saying this is a gloomy, dark, and spooky, shadowy forest, I'm right with you. It is getting pretty dark out here, but I've got just the thing. It's time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Woglo! Wish come true! Hi, Woglo. Can you light 
up this gloomy forest for us? This, um, gloomy, dark, spooky shadow, so many scary words forest? <laughs> See? Much better. All right, okay. You know, uh... Things are looking up. I can see the ground. I can see the trees. I can see my fishy poof crackers. Oh, can we stop for a quick snack break, Drew? Sure, B. How about a little rest, Woglo? Woglo! One for Snick, and one for True, and one for the giant scary plant creature. <laughs> oh! Don't be scared. It's just this cute little flower shadow. See? Okay, it's gone. <sighs> Thank goodness. Everybody relax. Don't do that shadow thing again, K-True. Not all shadows are scary, Bee. Some are fun. Here, you shine Woglo on my hands. Hey, it's me. I'm famous. <gasps> Rainbow King. <laughs> Delightful daffodil. I'm so pleased you like my shadow puppet show. <laughs> You're so good at making us not scared, Drew. I couldn't do it without my lovely assistant, Woglo. Woglo! Oh, sorry. I know it's in here somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. ah! Nope, not that. <laughs> uh, yes, pollen from Rainbow King's favorite flower. Oh. And celestial particles. Uh -huh. I mean, star sprinkles. A good scientist always knows when to check on his experiment. Being here. We've never been here before, Bee. No, oh, yeah, that's why I don't remember it. Snick, is the Nine Eye Tree down there? Oh, yeah! She said all we have to do is follow the river. Uh, how are we supposed to get down there? Easy. We're going to jump. I was afraid you'd say that. Bartleby, we're going to have to be brave. The Yetis are depending on us to bring the Nine Eye Light back to the village. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Bumbershoot! Wish come true! Hi, Bumbershoot! Can you help us float down safely from here? Ah, Bumbershoot! Well, Glow, you sit on my shoulder, okay? Bumbershoot, we need you to get as big as you can. Uh-huh. Okay, everyone. One, two, three, jump! Getting kind of tired. Is that nine eye tree close by? Ooh! Nine eye! Nine eye! Well, I guess that's the nine eye tree. Oh! Thanks for your help, Woglo. Woglo! Now back in the pack. Ooh. 
Uh, true. Why is the nine eye tree so dark? I don't know. Let's go take a closer look. <laughs> Stick says the Nine-Eye tree is all lit up during the day. Then why do you think it looks so different at night? Oh. oh. It's sleeping. Of course it's all dark. Even Nine-Eye trees go to bed. So how do we wake it up? Nine-Eye. <gasps> the Nine-Eye dance. Nine-Eye. Look at all those nine eyes. But true, they're so high up. How are we going to get them down? It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Grabadiddy. Wish come true. Grabadiddy. Hi, Grabadiddy. I need your super sticky power to help us catch all those nine eyes. Uh huh. Ooh, uh -huh. Let's get grabbing, grab a ditty! Grab a ditty! Ah -ha. Ah -ha. Ah -ha. Way to grab, grab a ditty! Thanks for your help, grab a ditty! Grab a ditty! Now back in the pack! Sorry to wake you, Nine Eye Tree, but my friends and I were visiting the Yetis and we. Uh... Somebody threw water on the Nine Eye lights and they just went out. Wasn't me, just saying. A anyway, the Yetis are a little afraid of the dark. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Mm. Is it okay if we borrow some of your Nine Eyes? Mm hmm. Oh, thank you, Nine Eye Tree. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We better get back to Yeti Village. Sweet dreams, Nine Eye Tree. I'm sorry. All my potions are destroyed. There's nothing else I can do to bring you light. Hey, there's some light. Those look like Nine Eye lights. Hey, it's true, Bartleby and Snake. Hi, we're back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Now we have enough Nine Eyes to light the entire Yeti village. And I wasn't afraid of the dark or my shadow. <laughs> well, maybe a little. I just want to say how truly sorry we really are. It's just that we got so caught up in the Yeti traditions, we didn't realize we were causing any harm. Well, isn't there anything we can do to help the Yetis now? <laughs> Master Pillow, we will meet again. Who's ready for a yummy surprise? Kitty Natty Ninja Cats are always ready for surprises. Ta-da! Oh! Popped Peppy Peppers? That's like my fourth favorite snack. After, of course, Fishy Poof Crackers, Fishy Poof Crackers with Zesty Cheese, and Limited Edition Extra Light Poof Fishy Poof Crackers. Hold it. Popped Peppy Peppers? <laughs> Check. Suzuni juice balls? Check. Bendy straws? Uncheck? <laughs> Thanks, little helpers. And check. There. Every 
things ready for the sleepover. Okay, back to snacking. Oh, bendy straws. I feel like a princess. <laughs> you never know when a real princess might show up. I'm here. Griselda! <laughs> it wouldn't be a party without you. I know. Where's Fruki? Fruki Kids is right here. <laughs> Care for an ice cold Zazuni juice? <gasps> yes, please. But would you happen to have a bendy straw? So thoughtful of you, True. Hello, party people. So far, so good. Everything's going just as planned. Now we're just waiting on the Rainbow King. That must be him now. Welcome, Rainbow King. Huh? Your Majesty? What? Oh. <laughs> A lovely lavender evening to you, True and Bartleby. I'm so excited about your sleepover. I was just making sure I didn't forget anything important, like my blankie, or my pillow, or, uh, hmm. Oh, and, uh, hey, if you need a toothbrush, I got lots. Oh, there's my tail cleaning brush. I was looking for that. Works like a charm. And I found my gum. Bubble chew. Mm. You want some? Ew, no thanks. No, it's not a toothbrush. I've got one of those. Oh, what could it be? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've got everything you could possibly need. Purple persimmons! True, your particular predisposition to planning is perfection personified. What he said! Thank you, Rainbow King. Please, come in! Rainbow King, welcome! Good to you. <laughs> well, that's it. Everybody's here. Next up, party time! We're down to our very last party plan. Aww. Aww. A delicious Nummelberry pancake breakfast in the morning! Yay! All right, everybody, let's get ready for bed. I just remember what I forgot to remember. My Moo Moo. I always have my Moo Moo with me at bedtime. Moo Moo? That's not on my list. Can you sleep without it? Well, it has helped me sleep every night for the last three or four hundred million years. But I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll just count little helpers until I fall asleep. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, six million four hundred and six. Wait, I skipped one. I'll start over. One, two. Rainbow King, do you want me to get your moo moo for you? It's no problem. Goodness, greenness, no. We'd have to go all the way to the Royal Greenhouse for my Moo Moo. That is pretty far to go. Uh, not to worry, True. I'll fall asleep soon. Okay. If you need anything, just ask. Good night, Rainbow King. Good night, True. Oh, blue bother. I mustn't keep everyone awake. I really don't like using sleeping spells. I, I can't remember why. Uh, but maybe just this once. 
Starry Bloom, help me snooze. <sighs> I'm feeling snoozy already. <laughs> Lovely summer rain, so refreshing. Bartleby, you're talking in your sleep again. So are you. <gasps> Fruki, you're flying! Huh? What? <gasps> True! Look out! <gasps> <gasps> What's going on? <gasps> Fruki kittens? Fruki! Oh, Fruki Wongons, come down! Gotcha! It's okay, Fruki Snuggles. You're safe with me now. Yes, you are. I definitely didn't plan for this. They're sleep floating. Fascinating. I've read about it. I never thought I'd see it in person. We should pull them down. No! Don't touch him. If you do... You'll sleep float, too. Can we wake them up? Guess not. <laughs> well, we can't just let them float around bumping into things. We need some rope. Or string. <laughs> or a butterfly net. Or a string. <laughs> or a super long straw. <laughs> or or string. string. Good work, little helpers. Wait, where's the Rainbow King? He's there, going out the window. No, no. Rainbow wake King, up, please wake, wake up! up. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! We need to catch up to him and wake him up. Oh, Cumulo! <sighs> Sorry to wake you, Cumulo, but we've got to go save the Rainbow King. Oh, wait. I forgot to get changed. Um, do we need to get changed, too? Nope. Keep your PJs on. <laughs> We're still having a sleepover. I've just got to be ready for action. Good idea. Can you two take Griselda and Fruki back inside? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, little helpers. Yeah, but Z, everyone in Rainbow City will sleep float right out of town. We need some wish help. And quick. To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo. Z, where are you? I need your help. Uh, True, I'm right behind you. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay. We need something bright to find Rainbow King and something to get the citizens down. Something sticky. This is sticky. Um, no thanks. And we need something loud to wake everyone up. If he wakes up too suddenly, maybe everyone will fall down. Right. I didn't think of that. So, uh, pillows. But everyone's still floating, so we do need something sticky. Tape? Glue. No. Hair gel. <laughs> Ugh. Z. We need wishes. You're right. We do need wishes. But sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, we don't know what will happen if we wake up the Rainbow King suddenly. The other sleep floaters might wake up too. And then fall down. So we'll have to bring everyone down safely first. Good thinking, True. And when everyone is down safely, we'll gently wake up the king and he can break the spell. The wishing tree has heard you, True. 
It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Wishes are incredible. I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Snuggly. Snuggly. Snuggly's a blanket wish that can grow big enough for lots of people to take a nap on. And if you sing a lullaby, it'll act like a magnet to anyone who's asleep. You'll be perfect for gathering everyone and keeping them safe and sound. <laughs> Your next wish is Woe Glow. Woe Glow is a light wish. You are exactly what we need on a dark night. <laughs> and for your last wish, Poingy, the bouncing wish. Poingy, Poingy. Poingy is great at bouncing on its own. <laughs> yeah, it's a cat thing. It's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> or you can jump onto it to bounce extra high. I'm not sure how a bouncing wish can help, but I'm sure we'll think of something. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Come on, everybody. We've got to go save the Rainbow King. <laughs> Thank you, Wishing Tree. Oh, whoa! Watch out, Cumulo. Maybe it's just me, but this is way too many sleep floaters. I agree. It's going to be very hard to find the Rainbow King in this mess. I have an idea. Take us down to the park, please, Cumulo. <laughs> Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Snuggly. Wish come true. Ready, Snuggly? Snuggly. <laughs> oh. Z? You said singing a lullaby makes Snuggly a magnet for anyone who's asleep, right? That's right. Well, let's get humming. Na na na, na na na, na 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 Uh-oh! Rainbow King put Snuggly to sleep! Snuggly's losing its power! Oh, no. Rainbow King! He needs to do something, or he'll float away with everyone! That would not be good. I can barely see him now! Huh? Who could be calling at this hour? <gasps> Rainbow King! Momo. He must have pocket bubbled me. Wake up, Rainbow King! Wake up, please! It's no use. Oh, Rainbow King, if only you could tell us what's wrong. Oh, Momo. It, even just a clue. Momo. Two word phrase. You know, that points us in the right direction. Momo. Yeah, like that. Momo. That's what's wrong. Rainbow King always has his moo moo at bedtime, and he can't settle down without it. That's why he's sleep floating. We've been doing it all wrong. Instead of waking him up, we need to help him have a good night's sleep. Of course, more sleep is the answer to our sleep problem. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. All we have to do is get Rainbow King his moo moo. Cumulo. Come on, Bartleby. What? What? what, what, what? Go, go, Cumulo! To the Rainbow Castle! Okay, 
on a scale of one to dark? This is dark. How are we gonna find our way? I mean, I don't have that cat's can see in the dark thing. It's always been a great disappointment to me. I remember my mother once. Bartleby? She... Oh, sorry. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Woe Glow. <laughs> wish come true. You're up, Woe Glow. <laughs> Rainbow King said his moo moos in the royal greenhouse. This way. Here's the greenhouse. Hmm, maybe the moo moo is some kind of plant. But there's gotta be millions of them. How are we gonna know which one is which? Fortunately, every plant is clearly labeled. All right, let's go look for the moo moo plant. Okay, moo moo plant, uh, moo moo plant. Hmm, well, I mean, it's not this one. <laughs> ah, true, wait for me. Not this one. It's not this one either. Or this one. <laughs> Maybe it's that viney one over there. Nope, not over here. Where is it? Hmm. Ah! Guys, look. Is that the Rainbow King? He's floating way too far. We need to find that Moo Moo fast. Oh, we've just looked everywhere and there's nothing. Nothing but this giant flower pot. <gasps> This must be it! True, shine the light over here. It's the Moo Moo plant. The fruit of the Moo Moo plant gives off a soft glow and a gentle hum that is helpful for sleeping. So, where's the fruit? Way up there. Now I understand why the wishing tree gave me Poingy. Here, Z, can you hold Woglo? It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Poingy! Wish come true! Okay, Poingy, let's bounce. Poingy! Ready? Let's bounce, bounce, bounce! Go, Poingy, go! Higher, Drew, higher! It's just out of reach! <sighs> How are we gonna get it, Drew? I've got an idea. Bartleby, I need some kitty natty help. I see where you're going with this, True. Let's try this again, Poingy. Uh, huh, uh, huh. Ready, set! Okay, Bartleby, it's ninja time! Oh, wait! I'm a cat. Work, Bartleby. I'm very proud of myself. Thanks for your help, Poingy. Poingy! You too, Woglow. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. Okay, let's bring the Rainbow King his Moo Moo. Come on, Cumulo. This will be tricky. If Rainbow King touches me and makes me sleep float, it's up to you two to save the Rainbow Kingdom. Ha! No pressure! Rainbow King! I have your Moo Moo! Moo Moo? The Rainbow King isn't sleep floating anymore! His Moo Moo must have broken the spell! <gasps> And look! It's working! All the sleep floaters are floating back home to their beds. We did it! Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Snuggly. You were super helpful. Mm. Tuck yourself back in the pack now. Let's go home. I'm sleepy. Sleepy? But we're just getting started. We just saved this whole town. Let's celebrate! <laughs> Phew, what a night. My sleepover didn't exactly go as planned. Yeah, but you saved the kingdom, True. <sighs> You're my hero. <laughs> and don't forget, we still have Nummelberry pancakes to enjoy in the morning. You're right. 
This was a pretty good sleepover after all. True? Mm. True! Wakey, wakey! Hmm? What? Hey, that smells like... Knuckleberry pancakes! <laughs> we made them just for you. Thanks for saving everyone in Rainbow City. And you, you remembered how much I love bendy straws. Oh, thank you, True, for bringing my Moo Moo. Aw, thanks, everyone. Mmm, 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 that is so good. Bartleby, you've got to try some. <laughs> Best <laughs> pancakes. <laughs> Ever. Mm, so delicious. Mm. Mount Huff and Puff. Are we there yet? Almost. Urban Snake promised it'll be worth the hike. Remember what they said? All I heard was, uh... Actually, they said... <laughs> which means Splashy Splashy Springs is great family fun for all ages. Well, normally I avoid squishy, splashy things, but that does sound amazing. <laughs> We're right behind you! <gasps> There's Mount Huff and Puff! Splashy, splashy springs is supposed to be right next to it! <laughs> Well, with that giant tree in the way, we're not going to do any splishing or splashing in Splishy Splashy Springs. You're right. How are we going to move this thing? You gotta dip your toes in and test the water. Literally. <gasps> ah! Cold, 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 cold! <laughs> I think your toe's extra sensitive today. Trust me, you do not want to go in there. Yeah, can do that. today. Brock, Brock, are you okay? Oh yeah, don't go, don't 
Okay, stay right here. Uncle Bartleby's gonna get you down. Hi! Yeah! 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 Mm. Whoa, oh, please go ahead. I, I think I loosened it there for you a bit. We couldn't help but notice that you seem a little upset. Is everything okay? I don't think the mountain likes it when we do that. Oh no! It's burning hot lava! Oh no. That is hot lava, I think. This is not good. It's heading straight for the never-ending forest and all the creatures that live there. Yeah, I can confirm that this is definitely lava, which means we definitely have to hurry this up. Yo! Yo! Now, everybody! I better go warn everyone. I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Mount Huff and Puff, but I need to make sure my friends are okay. I'll be back soon with some help. Faster, faster! Try to keep up, please. Thank you. Ah! Whoa! We're being chased by lava! I'm going to go on ahead and find a place where you'll be safe. Okay! We'll just keep running! <gasps> a cave! That's perfect! Erg, Snick, turn left! Quick! Phew! Okay, I think we're safe. You may be safe from the lava, but you're also a little bit stuck. I'm really sorry. I can't carry you all to safety with Cumulo. I'm going to need some wish help. Uh-huh. Wish help would be good, I think. Sit tight, everyone. To the wishing tree, please. Don't worry about us, True. Uncle Bartleby will keep these yetis entertained. Have no fear, my furry friends. Burning hot lava may be boiling hot to the touch, but it's perfect if you're in the market for a tasty treat. Yay! <laughs> Okay, the first one always gets burned. Okay, so maybe we have to wait for this lava to cool down a little bit. In the meantime, we can, uh, let's see, uh, well, what do we have here? We have rocks. Some more rocks over there, and, uh, boy, <laughs> a lot of rocks in this cave. Uh, I don't know, um, want to do a fun craft? <laughs> That's the spirit! Z, Z, Mount Huff and Puff is erupting. Oh, hi, True. And I know I've been watching on my face bubble. Tell me what happened. Bartleby and I were there when it all started. Hey, wait a sec. Where is Bartleby? Trapped with the Yetis, surrounded by lava. They're actually on Mount Huff and Puff. Why? The Yetis took us to Splishy Splashy Springs, and then the ground started shaking. First, I thought we made the mountain mad. But then I thought it looked sad. Now I'm not sure. But Bartleby and the Yetis are trapped by hot lava. And even worse, the lava's flowing down the mountain toward the never-ending forest and Yeti village and all the critters that live in the forest. Blistering basalt. This is serious. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, the first thing to do is rescue Bartleby and the Yetis from the lava. Good thinking! Then, when everyone is safe, we have to stop the lava from reaching the forest. The wishing tree has heard you, True. 
It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree. what the Wishipedia says about their powers. First up is Thermo. Thermo. Thermo can handle any temperature, hot or cold, and not feel a thing. Ah. Thermo is very protective. You're just the wish I need to get across the hot lava, Thermo. Next up is Diggy Dug. <laughs> Diggy Dug loves getting dirty. It can also move tons of dirt in no time. Perfect. Diggy Dug, you can dig a big hole to hold all the hot lava. Diggy Dug. Diggy Dug. And your third wish is Elongi. Hi, Elongi. Elongi. Elongi is a stretching wish. It can stretch super long, like a rubber band. Elongi. I'm not sure how you can help with Mount Huff and Puff, but it's hardly a stretch to see you're always helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. Wow. Thanks for everything, Z. Anytime, True. Good luck. Okay, and just a little rock here and there. Nailed it. Looks just like the Rainbow King. <laughs> Sometimes I impress even myself. All right, my Yeti friends, let's see what you came up with. Oh, come now, don't be shy. This is your first rock sculpture after all. And remember, Uncle Bartleby is a bit of a pro. <laughs> Well, uh, not too bad for a first try, a little crude, but hey, we can't all be master stoneworkers. <laughs> With a little help from Uncle Bartleby, you three have a lot of potential. Bartleby! I'm back to get everybody off the mountain! True! Oh, too bad we can't finish our rock sculptures. So disappointing. Oh, well. Okay, everybody, True's here, so uh, let's form a line, single file along that wall. Thank you. I'll have you guys out of there soon. Time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Thermo! Wish come true! Hi, Thermo. Thermo! That lava is really, really hot. Can you handle the heat? Ha! Mom, mom,
There's a big river of lava headed straight for us. Never, never. Can you dig a hole big enough to hold it all? No, no. Never. Never. Yeah! Uh, okay, Diggy Dog, let's get digging. <laughs> Times better if we took it out. But Snick couldn't even pull it out, even after I loosened it for her. I'm sure we'll think of something. Yeah, well, it's hard to, to, to think of anything with all this rumbling going on. Phew. You're right, Bartleby. Let's go try and get Mount Huff and Puff to calm down. Cumulo! seems strong enough to pull a tree out of a geyser. I think you're right. So let's have a think. Okay. Mount Huff and Puff is trying to blow the log out of its side. But every time it tries, it just blows out its top instead. Maybe Elongi could cover the top so that when Mount Huff and Puff blows, the log gets pushed out instead. That's it! Mount Huff and Puff, we have a plan. It's going to be a little uncomfortable for a minute, but then it'll feel better. You're going to have to be brave and trust me, okay? <laughs> Great! It's time for my third wish. Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Elongi! Wish come true! Hi, Elongi. Here's the plan. You're going to stretch all the way across the top of Mount Huff and Puff and hold on tight. Yeah, yeah. Can you do it? Uh -huh. You're the best, Elongi. Take us a little closer, please, Cunulo. Go, Elongi! <laughs> Mount Huff and Puff, blow again. Really hard this time. Uh. 
would agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for bringing us here, Ergen Snick. This turned out to be a pretty fun outing after all. Yeah, although it's too bad the water was so cold in Splissy Splashy Springs. I was really looking forward to taking a dip. Whoa! water I can handle. I think this is Mount Huffinpuff's way of saying thank you. Thank you, Mount Huffinpuff! Yeah, you really saved the day! <sighs> wow, wow. watching the sky, don't you think? The Lantern Festival hasn't even started yet. It won't be long now, though. Ooh, I can't wait to see our glow lanterns fill the sky with light. With light. Ah, well, you're about to see something else fly by that's just as amazing. Look. <laughs> sky globs? Wow, I've never seen them up close before. They only fly past here once a year when they migrate. Migrate? When it gets too warm, they head home to the chilly north. Woy, woo, woo! Ooh, I want to talk to them too. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I think they heard us. Yeah, chatting's not my thing. I'm more the strong, silent type who always keeps us cool, you know? Big Sam Blubs, Biggie Blubs, Sky Biggies, this, this thing! <laughs> <laughs> they even have a cute blubby baby. Oh, hi, baby. With your big blubby baby mouth, a whole kitty could fit in there. <laughs> I don't see any wings. They must fly with their tails. Yes, they're very graceful flyers. It's landing that they're not so great at. Ninja cat hide. Ninja cat hide. Can't see. Not not wanting to be seen. Shivering with fear. Aren't they wonderful, Bartleby? Bartleby? Where'd you go? Right here, too. We should really be going. To that non-Sky Blob Festival thingy, remember? That we were gonna go to? The Lantern Festival. I almost forgot. Okay, let's go. Wanna come with us, Z? Thanks, Drew. I'm good. 
I can see the Sky of Blobs and the Lantern Festival from right here. It's the best view in the kingdom. Okay, Z, have fun. Gotta go. Bye! And you Blobs have a safe migration north. Right? Yeah! Okay, time to move with the groove. This cat ain't got hooves. Woohoo! <laughs> now that kitty can dance. <gasps> B, look! <laughs> what? Something's wrong with the sky gloves. <laughs> Idea. Let's watch the festival from under here, in case, you know, it rains. <laughs> no, Bartleby. True. The sky blobs have turned around. What's going on? I think the music from the Lantern Festival is scaring them. That must be it, because they're not going to the chilly north now. They're heading towards the steamy south. Steamy and warm sounds perfect. Not for the Sky Blobs. They only like cold weather. Hot weather won't be good for them at all. We have to turn them around. Can you stop them until we get there? I'll do my best. Ocumulo! Hi. Sorry we're missing the lantern launch, B. But we have to help. Yep, it's what we do. Time to hop aboard. Why aren't I hopping aboard? <laughs> yeah, legs weren't moving for some reason. To the sky blobs, please. Ooh -wee -woo -woo. Z, what are you doing? Trying to calm down the herd of sky blobs. Woo -wee -woo -woo. <laughs> I don't think it's working. <laughs> what did he say to them? What did you say to them? I need to work on my sky blub call. <gasps> Easy little blub. It's okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're so freaked out right now. We're gonna need some wish help to calm them down and turn them around. To the wishing tree, cute. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. Thanks, Cumulo. Everyone okay? Yes. Did I forget to, um... <clears throat> did I forget to mention that the sky blobs get upset easily? Yes, but we know now. Okay, there you go, little wish buddy. If I can just calm the sky blobs down, I can get them flying to the chilly north again. But how? That will be a challenge. Let's sit and have a think about this. How will you get the sky blobs to fly to the chilly north? First, the poor things are so jumpy and startled by unexpected things. I need to make them feel safe again. Like how you feel when you're with people you care about. <sighs> how warm and lovey. The way you make me feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Bartleby, exactly. A wish could help us do that. And if they're still spooked, then I'll need another wish that can lead them to the chilly north. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree. No way. 
fantastic wishes. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is, ah, tis way. It's a musical wish that plays music so sweet and enchanting that everyone loves it and wants to follow it. That's great! Tizway can help get the sky blubs to follow us, too. For your second wish, you have... Sidebar. How sweet. It's a togetherness wish. It gives you that warm, cozy feeling, like when you're with somebody you care about. I don't know what's come over me, True, but I love you more than ever. <laughs> a togetherness wish is perfect. It'll help the Sky Blubs see me as family and let me lead them to the chilly north. And your third wish is deflect. Very interesting. It's a shield wish that can deflect anything that bumps into it. Psst. Can you deflect a Sky Blub falling out of the sky? Yeah, I just, I was asking for a friend. The shield wish is cool, but I'm not sure how it will help us lead the Sky Blubs home. You'll put the wish to good use, like you always do, True. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> Any questions? Just face bubble me. I know a lot about Sky Blubs. We will. Let's get our flying friends to the chilly north. Oh no, look how far they've flown already. They're almost at the steamy south. You can feel the steamy heat all the way over here. That steamy warmth is awful, just awful. Yeah. She's really scared. Oh, she totally is. Quick, Cumulo. We have to get ahead of them fast so we can turn them around. And I have just the wish to make them feel warm and lovey. Then I can lead them away. All together now, side by. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, side by. <laughs> Hi, Side by. We need the Sky Blubs to feel like I'm part of their family, so they'll feel safe enough to follow me. Can you? Whoa! Phew! <gasps> side by? No, wait, Side by. I want them to follow me, not Bartleby. What's happening? I'm tingly all over. <laughs> Even my tingles are tingling. <laughs> Uh, what's with all this sky blobbing? Bartleby, they're attracted to you. To me? You mean like I'm their mama? No, 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 no. You're supposed to be their mama. You are. Uh, side by? Hmm? Can we try this again? Mm -mm. Well, thanks anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sorry, B. Side by only has the wish power to do that once. <laughs> Aww, the baby sky blub really loves you now. Aww, tell her to stop. I can't. Even the baby's mama wants you to be her mama. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not ready to play mama. I don't even wash my own paws before dinner. <laughs> Until side by's wish power wears off, you are their mama. But don't worry, you can calm them down. I can what? <laughs> Giddy down! Hey, thanks, little blubster. Soft, squishy, good. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, keep it together, me. Sky Blobs, if we're gonna do this, you gotta. You gotta listen to your mama, okay? And your mama needs some space. Woo -woo. Thanks, guys. It worked! They listened! To me! See? You're a natural. Now let's lead them home. Right, home. Um, Sky Blobs? Mm -hmm. Turn around, please. The chilly north is that away? Ooh. Gotta listen to your mother, me. Come on, little blobbies. We're leaving the steamy self behind. Nice 
nice work, Mama Bee. Thanks, True. That's all in a day's work. <laughs> this trip will be a breeze. Huh? <laughs> what? We're stopping. Oh, we're going to Happy Farming Valley, <laughs> whether we like it or not. <laughs> Terrifying! At least I didn't get <laughs> squished! Oh no. Are you okay, B? I'm okay. Clouds are as light as, well, clouds! Bring it in, B. I got you. Huh? Drew, why are you slobbering on me? No! Oh, hey! So this is why they landed in Happy Farming Valley. It's snack time! Yes, it is, and I like their style. <laughs> oh, B. <laughs> You like tangy tum tums? Mm hmm. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. I think they want to be fed by someone else. Someone named Mama. Oh. But their mouths are huge. What if I fall in? Fall in? Fall in? It's okay. They won't eat you. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Pretty sure? Oh, don't be scared. They love you, remember? And if anything happens, I'm right here to help. Okay, um, here's Sky Blob. Ooh. Get your tangy tum tum from your mom mom with the yum yums. <laughs> oh, well, can't say we didn't try. <laughs> maybe they'll feed themselves now. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. Izzy, we're having trouble feeding the Sky Blobs. They won't eat the tangy tum tums. Ah, try holding the fruit in your mouth. You mean like this? Mm -hmm. Whoa, are you okay, B? So much flobbiness. But it didn't eat you, right? No, she didn't. That's my super brave kitty. Come on, we'll need more tangy tum tums to fill those big blobby bellies. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. It's feeding time. <laughs> nice baby feeding, Mama Bee. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, fun fact, sky blob tongues feel like slobbery sandpaper. <laughs> okay, little blob, let's get you and your family home. Chili North, here we come. Uh-oh, oh, well, what now? Are you thirsty? Itchy? Need a belly rub? What, what? She's just saying, thank you, Mama. Oh, wow, you're welcome. <laughs> Bartleby, we're getting close to the festival. Uh-oh. Bingo Bango's still playing. The Lantern Festival is still going on. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Sky Blobs, cover your ears! Plug them good, darlings! <sighs> it stopped. Oh, good. Whew. And if the music's done, <gasps> that means... Ready? Three... Two, one, lanterns away! Oh, look at that. Everyone's launching their glow lanterns! Woo! 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 Lanterns scary! Lanterns very bad! Oh, no! Poor little sky blobs! No, the lanterns are scaring the blobs! Stay away from my babies! Lanterns away from my children! Huh? What happened? I forgot the lanterns did that! When they land or hit something, they pop <laughs> with the funny sound. That way, they don't leave any mess anywhere. Well, there's just way too many lanterns. Whoa. We've got to get rid of them all before my sky blobs go the wrong way again. But if we pop all the lanterns, we'll ruin the lantern festival. <sighs> what do we do? Let's think about this. Okay, let's think. If we could make a path for the sky blobs to fly through, then we wouldn't have to pop all the lanterns. Just some of them. Yeah, yeah, great idea. We'll use Deflect, my shield wish. He can clear a path by popping lanterns away. Right on, let's do it. 
Zip, zap, z, y, choo, you! Bring up, d flat. Wish come true! Get behind me, everyone! Okay, Cumulo, let's pop some glow lanterns! It's okay, Mama's best friend is taking care of those scary bad lanterns! Sky Blobs, it's okay. Just listen to your mama and follow me to the chilly north. The sky is looking clear. It's time to skip the drama. We've got somewhere we ought to be. Better listen to your mama. I'm the head of this family. Here's what we're going to do. We'll fly high up just like the wind and go woo. Great job, d ah, Nothing to worry about here, Sky Blubs. Whew! Now back in the back. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, we showed those lanterns who's boss. Now nothing's gonna stop my Sky Blubs from getting home to the <laughs> chilly north. <gasps> Are those... storm clouds? Nah! My babies do not like those. But Mama can tell these things. Let's land until they pass. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Good stop. This is bad. The storm clouds are moving in from above and below. So they're all around us? Not yet they're not. It's clear flying through Pointy Rock Canyon. But it won't be clear for long. We have to go now. I don't know, True. Z said the blubs scare easily, and those pointy rocks look pretty scary. Oh. And that thunder's scary, too. We have to think of some way to calm them down. <gasps> I've got it. I'll have Tizway play some relaxing music. That should keep the sky blubs calm and distracted. Tizway, I need you. Zip, zap, <laughs> zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Tizway. Wish come true! Hi, Tizway. We need some music to help us lead our friends through Pointy Rock Canyon. <laughs> yeah, that's a little too mellow. You have to hurry, Bee. Okay, okay. We need music that'll get their fins a-flapping so they'll follow us forward. Faster fin-flappy music <gasps> coming right up. Sky Blobs, hey, you are the best. Baby Blob and all the rest. Sound off. Club call. Woo wee woo wee woo woo. Woo wee woo wee woo woo. Woo 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 wee woo wee. Almost there, we're nearly through. There's only one thing left to do. Fly through. <laughs> the Chili North! We're here! <laughs> now I know why they call it the Chili North. <laughs> we helped the Sky Blobs get home. Can you come to me, any Blob? <laughs> <laughs> Yicky! Bit less sandpaper tongue, please. I'm so proud of you, Bee. You were a great mama. <sighs> Thanks, True. Well, side by his wish power will wear off soon, though. Then the Sky Blubs won't see me as their mama anymore. Bartleby, side by his wish power doesn't last this long. It wore off ages ago. It did? So the Sky Blubs love me for being me? Yep, just like I do, Bartleby. Uh huh. Uh oh. What is it, baby? What? <laughs> I didn't have a tangy tum tum fruit that time. <laughs> I think that one was just a kiss. Aww, <laughs> Mama is so happy now. Queens of the day and night. Ooh, I'm so excited to meet the day queen and the night queen. 
making the sun rise each day and the moon rise each night is such an amazing, incredible, wonderful, amazing... Did I already say amazing, important job? It's amazing, all right. Sun comes up and I'm wide awake. Moon comes up and I'm... The castle looks golden gorgeous. Oh, thank you for your help, True and Bartleby. You're welcome, welcome Rainbow, Rainbow King. King. And your timing couldn't be better. Here comes the Day Queen now. Whoa! Uh, True? You okay? True? True? Warmest greetings, Rainbow King. And you must be True and Bartleby. It's wonderful to finally meet you. You... No, me? She knows me! It's delightful to see you again, Your Majesty. And your sister, the Night Queen, should be here any minute. Rainbow King, why do the queens only visit at sunrise and sunset? The Day Queen's power comes from her brightness, Bartleby. It fades at night. So if she's away from sunshine too long, she won't have the energy to lift the sun each day just as the Night Queen must stay in darkness to lift the moon. So my sister and I can only be together at dawn and dusk. Oh, it's so sad. I get to see my best friend all the time. Aww. Oh, and speaking of, here comes... The Night Queen! Night Queen! How glorious that you're here! Day Queen! Seeing you is always the best part of my <laughs> evening. Thank you for inviting me, Rainbow King. You're welcome. Ah, you must be true. And Bartleby, I've heard so much about you. You've heard of me too? I... Wow. Oh, and here we go again. Night Queen, it's midnight marvelous to have you visit. And what a beautiful moonrise you've made. Though the Day Queen's sunset is marvelous as well. Oh, thank, thank you, Your Majesty. Majesty. Nothing, Nothing beats, beats a perfect, perfect sunset. Moonrise. Oh, dear sister, surely you must agree the moonrise is more spectacular. I'm afraid I must disagree with you, sister. A sunset is the most beautiful. What do you think, True? Yes. Which one do you think is best? I, um, well, they're both great. <laughs> if only that were so. But clearly, my time is the best. Daytime is the best time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. Nighttime simply can't compare. You really shouldn't even try. Nighttime is the best time. A soft cool breeze and the moon aglow. Daytime simply can't compare. Compared to night, it's just so so. Take in the colors and gaze at the flowers. Marvel at rainbows after soft summer showers. Relaxing in comets when dreams take flight. Count all the stars that twinkle so bright. Daytime is the best time. Is the best time. The blue sky. The night stars. The sun. The moon. Oh my! This is perfect. <laughs> Crazy sky is perfect? Don't you see? We can finally be together all the time. I just have to stay on my side. Well, I stay on my side. This is the best thing that's ever happened. Everyone, please excuse us. I must finally convince my sister that daytime is the best time. I'm afraid that's impossible because nighttime is the best time. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is most unusual. Most unusual indeed. Maybe it'll be fine. Daytime and nighttime? At the same time? More like crazy time. A little, but it's okay, I think. Please, please go to sleep. Oh, I can't believe that worked. So tired. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Now I can
could stab us now! See? You get the energy from the sun or nice, calming moonlight whenever you... <laughs> uh -oh. well, looks like one of the buses fell asleep on the night side and the ones on the day side can't pass. What? <laughs> Come on, Bartleby. Excuse me, bus. It's time to wake up. Tickle, tickle. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, B. Excuse me, bus, but could you please pull over so the other buses can get by? Oh, I get it. Oh! Oh, oh true. I, I need your help in the Happy Farming Valley. Sure thing, Farmer Monster. I'm on my way. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> Come on, Bartleby! Whoa! Oh. Hi, Farmer Monster. What's wrong? I know it's not too much sunshine. <laughs> Plants love sunshine! They sure do. All this sun was wonderful at first. My berry crop grew bigger and juicier than ever. Oh, giant berry. Where have you been all my life? But now, there's too much sun. My berries dry out just like that. <laughs> all that plump, delicious juiciness gone. Okay, maybe this half-day, half-night thing isn't working out. We can't leave the sky like this. Let's go explain the problem to the queens. They'll understand. Right? I still can't believe you're here! Be strong, True. Good day, True. And good night. I was just telling Day how lovely the night stars are. But they can't compare with the shimmering sun. Isn't that right? <clears throat> True. Right. Thanks, B. Your Majesties, both day and night are amazing and everything. But could you please put the sky back the way it was? Please? Oh, True. But that would mean I couldn't be with my sister. Huh? The sun and the moon will stay where they are until we decide to change them. Which we won't. Ever. Uh, well, what now, True? I think we're gonna need some help. To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just... <laughs> Greetings, True and Bartleby. Look at the wishes. Half of them just fell asleep and the other half are full of energy. I don't know what's wrong. That's why we're here, Z. The Day Queen and the Night Queen stuck the sun and moon together. Now it's daytime and nighttime all the time. Most unusual. And I need some wish help to get the sky back to normal. Whoa, that is a problem. Come, let's sit and have a think about this. <sighs> How can the wishing tree help? Well, I need a wish that can make the night side brighter and the day side darker. But even better would be a wish that can unstick the sun and moon completely. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me.
are some fantastic wishes true. Yeah. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is Flecto. Now this is a wish you can really reflect on. <laughs> I don't get it. Moving on. Flecto is a mural wish that can show your reflection. It can also bounce light in any direction. Wow! Oh, hello, handsome. <laughs> that means Flecto could bounce sunshine from the day side of the kingdom onto the night side to make it more like daytime there. That will really brighten things up. Your second wish is Zeplo. It's a blimp wish. Zeplo can take in a lot of air and fly way up in the sky. Big and floaty wish. Hmm, maybe I could use Zeplo to pull the sun and moon apart. Your third wish is Shumpi. It's a protection wish. It opens like an umbrella, but can bathe you in sunlight while it's stormy and dark around you. Or cover you in deep shade if you want out of the sun. Hmm, I'm not sure how that wish can help me unstick the sun and moon. Uh -huh. But I'll think of something. You always do, True. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Okay, Bartleby, let's shed some light on Rainbow City. Flecto, it's time to reflect. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Oh, yeah. Wiggle, Flecto. <laughs> Wish come true. Hi, Flecto. Are you ready to oh. bounce some sunbeams? Mm -hmm. Great. Let's go. <laughs> It's working, but our beam isn't big enough. Flecto, can you get bigger so I can bounce more light down to the night side? Uh-huh. <laughs> Morning, baby. <laughs> oh, it was good while it lasted. All right, uh -huh. back to work. Oh, that's it? We covered all of Rainbow City. Great work, Flecto. <laughs> You true, but neither will I. Oh, oh no! Phew! Thanks, Flecto. Z. True. I have bad news. Huh? I've made a model of the sun and the moon, and by my calculations, if they're not separated soon, they'll smush together into one big samoon with no sunlight or moonlight at all. <gasps> we have to fix this. It's time to see if Zeplo can separate the sun and the moon. Oh, I hope it works, True. Good luck! This time, we're gonna do it. <sighs> hey, we're falling. Wait, wait. Probably just a dream. <sighs> it's not a dream, Bartleby! Cute me low fell asleep. Wake up, cute! Yeah! We have to steer Cumulo to the day side, so he wakes up. Lean with me, Bee. Lean! No! Phew! Good work, Cumulo. <laughs> Come on! Time for some wish power! Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Zeplo! Wish come true! <laughs> Hi, Zeplo. The sun and moon are stuck together. Can you help me fix it? Great. I'm going to guide you between them. Then you get really big and push them apart. Okay? Okay, Zeplo. Ready? Now, push! <gasps> Is it 
working. I only see Wish Tummy. <laughs> it's a nice tummy. Let's give Zeppo a helping push. <laughs> oh no! Thanks for trying, but the sun and moon are just too big to be pushed apart. You should get some rest. True. How goes the wish work? Have you separated the sun and the moon? Not yet. Whatever you're trying next, True, we have to hurry or... Sun, moon! There's only one thing we can do now. We have to get the queens to help us. Didn't we already try that? We did. <sighs> but we have to try harder. Thanks, Z! <laughs> Thank you both for meeting me. I know you love being together, and I love having you both together. But we have to fix the sky, your highnesses. What's the problem? Yes, we're having a wonderful time. But it's affecting the rest of the kingdom. <sighs> if you only could see both sides, you'd know. But I can't possibly travel to the night side. I'll lose my glow. And I certainly can't travel to the day side. I'll lose my darkness. Lose your glow. Lose your darkness. <gasps> I have a wish that can stop both those things from happening. I'll use Shumpi the protection wish to guard you from each other's time of day. Then I can take both of you anywhere in the kingdom to see what's going on. Well, I don't know. Hmm. <gasps> You've both said your time of day is the best. But how will you know for sure unless you see both sides for yourselves? Huh. Well, when you put it that way, how could we say no? Great. Come on out, Shumpy. <laughs> Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Shumpy. <laughs> Wish come true! Hi, Shumpy. We need to get over to the day side of the kingdom. Can you protect the Night Queen for me? Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Oh, my! Fantastic! Cumulo! Huh? Huh? Hi, Cumulo! First stop is Happy Farming Valley. <laughs> My word, is it always so dry here? No. Happy Farming Valley is usually green and lush. But, oh my glorious sunlight is drying it out. You always tell me how people are so happy during the day. No! But I don't see that, sister. Neither do I. It's terrible. Look, B, they're seeing the problem for themselves now. So right. You're doing great, Shumpy! Now can you protect the Day Queen and go to the night side? <laughs> How marvelous! Sunshine at night! Would you look at that? What's everyone doing on the ground? Are they sick? Oh no, they're just sleeping. But they should be doing that at home. In their beds. Sister? You always tell me how quiet and magical and enchanting the nighttime is. But, uh, I don't see any of that here. Neither do I. It's not right. It's working, True. Oh, don't fall asleep on me. Huh? Uh, right. Cumulo, back to the day side, please. Thanks, Cumulo. And thank you, Shumpy. <laughs> Hmm. We see the problem now, True. Too much night is too much for anybody. And too much day isn't good either. It's time to make things right. Ready? Ready. The day is bright. The night is calm. Sun, moon, to where you belong! Another beautiful sunset. Thank you, queens. Daytime is a great time. The shimmering sun in the bright blue sky. We 
run and skip and jump and play. It's a fun adventure time of day. <laughs> Nighttime is a great time. A soft, cool breeze, the moon in the glow. Get comfy, get back, it's quiet time. We wind things down and clear our minds. Take in the colors and gaze at the flowers. Marvel at rainbows after soft summer showers. Relaxing and calm, it's when dreams take flight. Count all the stars that twinkle so bright. Daytime is a great time. Like us both being the best. Me too. True, you did it. What is that? It's a face bubble. He's never used one before. No. no. I think we found another way for you to see each other more. Here we go. Your Majesties, no matter where you are, you can talk to each other by face bubble. <gasps> Now I'll be able to see you in the nighttime. Oh, and I'll be able to see you in the daytime. Hugs! Oh! <laughs> this is the greatest day and night ever. ever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call you soon. Bye! For now.